Good morning from day 59. It's it's a snowing. It snowed last night. A mouse chewed a hole in our tent. Yeah, that that really makes me mad and sad. We've like had the tent for less than a week and that sucker was out in the rain and the snow and the freezing cold trying to get in there. I'm just like, what the heck, man? I already patched it with some gear tape, but it's just really frustrating when you spend a lot of money on gear and a little mouse comes along and ruins it. And we weren't even near a shelter or anything like that. Just came out of nowhere. But we are hiking along today to meet up with my mama. She's gonna pick us up at a road crossing because we've been doing too much dilly-dallying and staying at hostels and we aren't gonna make it all the way to Woods Hole. So she's gonna pick us up at the road crossing right before, which is fine. We don't really care. And stay at Woods Hole for a couple nights and hang out with her, see her Airstream. I'll show you guys that, her little Bambi Airstream. She calls it the B which is really cute. B-E-E, -E, like a bumblebee. And my friends call me B, just a uppercase B. That's like my nickname. So that's fun. But yeah. And Morty Boy is gonna be joining us on trail. And my birthday's tomorrow. And I'm a spring baby, but it doesn't feel like it out here. Cause this is not spring weather. that is but my legs have always just handled extreme cold very well so can you guys guess which way the wind's coming from <laughs> it is a blizzard out here not quite but the wind has definitely picked up and the snow intensity picked up too which is surprising because it's supposed to get sunny later today Takeover. We just left the Brushy Mountain outpost after having a little bit of an early lunch and just a nice place to warm up. Now we're on a about a mile road walk to cross I I-77 and and head back into the woods. It's still very, very cold. I think the wind chills in the low 20s, but we're feeling good and we'll be getting picked up by Brooks Mom very shortly.
this guy back here thinks it's funny to throw snowballs at me when I'm hiking. I cut off right as he threw one at me and it got stuck perfectly in the back of my head. I'm gonna get him back. Are you scared? Maybe. Are you scared? These are just so cool. This is the main dining and eating area. The family room, common room, hangout space. And then up here is the loft room, which is our private room. And we should get, they say, a pretty sunrise or sunset, I think sunrise, out of this window. This is the bunkhouse. Cute outdoor sink. of bunks up here and fun fact this is the same pattern rug that I have in my room at home this is a runner and mine is more of like a square rectangular big floor rug but yeah I just think this place is so cute you come up this ladder and that's how you get up here this is the bathhouse Loner shoes, loner clothes, amazing showers. So she's got like a full resupply going on in here nowadays, which is very cool. Yeah, so now they have some of these kind of like glamping tents, which is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. New addition. They have this one, and then they have one over there. On top of that, then they try to save. Safety cut. Mm -hmm. Good morning from day 60, two months on trail, and it's my birthday. Woo I turned 26 at 158 this morning, and yeah, we are at let's see, Woods Hole. And we are having a great time. We had a yummy breakfast and it's a beautiful day. So yeah, I can't complain. Also very excited to be here because in this area is where Brooke and I met. And oh, yeah. it's just a really special place to both of us. Mm -hmm, definitely. Yeah, so we're excited to show you all around Woods Hole and just see how my birthday unfolds and what kind of day it is. And um, also Trevor has I have an eye appointment uh, here later this afternoon. I've been having some vision problems in my left eye. Not sure what the deal is, but this is like the first trail town that's had an eye doctor. So I scheduled an appointment probably a couple weeks ago and today's the day. So fingers crossed that all is well and that maybe it's just a prescription change. That would be best case scenario. Yep, that's what we're hoping for. So we will keep y'all posted and um, see how this birthday unfolds. <laughs> Oh. 
worst birthday cake ever. <laughs> Good morning from day 61. We are leaving Woods Hole and lots to catch y'all up on. Trevor and I will give a lengthy update here soon. All right, everyone. So to give you guys an update on my eye situation, I saw a doctor yesterday and it looks like I have a detached retina, which requires emergency surgery. So. We are currently about to head back to Virginia Beach because that will be the easiest place to get the surgery done because of where Brooke lives, I'll have a place to recover. So yeah, um, it's kind of been a whirlwind of emotions. Um, yeah, we're temporarily off trail and after the surgery we'll just kind of have to wait and see how long recovery takes and if and when we can get back out here. We are definitely not in good spirits right now, um, it's hard to... To deal with something like this that's just like not expected at all but my vision is definitely most important so we're happy to get be getting it taken care of yeah and um you know things happen and like you said the most important part is his vision so gonna get that taken care of and see what we can do trail wise afterwards but being home in bb will be nice be around family be mm -hmm. with morty and uh get this guy taken care of so yeah hopefully yeah. it'll it'll go well and we can get back out here and finish this thing yeah so we've been on the new river yeah. in, right outside of Carisburg in narrows with my mom's um, airstream and we were jumping around to and from woods hole and yeah so it was a good you know birthday and last couple days but off to vb we go Trevor is home recovering and Morty Boy is keeping him company. All right, your eye looks like it's getting better. It feels better. Yeah, it's looking a lot better than the first few days. All right, coming to you live five days post-surgery and Trevor is healing up pretty well. Um, yeah, I mean, the surgery went well and recovery's been going well and we never really updated you guys. Yeah, so both eyes had a retina detachment, which was a total surprise because I wasn't having any vision issues in my right eye, but they did find that um, when I went in for the visit and they decided to do surgery on my better eye first to save that vision. The left eye was already a little bit too, too far gone to get back to 100%, so they wanted to make sure my right eye will be back to normal. And so yeah, I got surgery on my good eye and right now I'm virtually blind because I cannot see good out of my left eye. So definitely been frustrating, but I'm feeling a lot better. And yeah, we're just kind of waiting on when the second surgery will be now. Yep, and I'm just kind of taking care of this guy. She's and... done amazing. She's the best nurse out there. Oh, thanks, babe. <laughs> You've been a great patient. He's been very calm and brave and just such a trooper through all of it. And yeah, just taking care of Trev and um, doing some DoorDash and just kind of sitting ducks, waiting for the whole process to ride out. Um, it's definitely going to be 
few weeks, month plus. And um, so with that, we've been kind of scheming what our trail plans are going to look like. And we've agreed that um, if and when we can get back on trail, we will be flipping up to Maine and continuing the last um, 1600 miles southbound. Um, but we will give um, a official update on all of that when it comes. And yeah, I also want to let you guys know I created a GoFundMe for Trevor. Um, you, you know, we were unemployed on trail and he does have health insurance, but still um, a lot of the places down here aren't accepting it. And so um, we're just you know, doing what we can. He's gonna have to pay out of pocket for the surgeries. Um, and so the GoFundMe is really helping with that. I think we've raised enough so far um, to pay for the first surgery. So we are just so, so grateful and appreciative of everyone um, supporting us in that way. And if you feel called, then the link will be in the description. Yep. Yeah, so. What, Morty boy? <laughs> can you say hi? Say hi, YouTube. Yep, and uh, that's about it. And we will um, keep y'all updated as they come. But for now, we're just gonna be going through the process.